Hi viewers, welcome to our channel SS Academy for Physics. In this video, PGTRB Physics Lab Unit 8 Quantum Mechanics Lab the Dirac Equation. Okay. So, in the Dirac Equation, first of the Dirac is the formatted in the equation to avoid the difficulties arising in Kellen Gordon Equation. Kellen Gordon Equation arise in difficulties to rectify the Dirac in the Dirac Equation formatted. Either based on which to do Lorentz invariance equations. Okay, well. So, that is linear in the equation which is linear in H and hence in E. Okay, that is linear. This is Dirac equation. So, now the Dirac equation for a free electron. On 1928, the basis of spin theory issued expert that of the electron. Okay, 1928 plus spin theory, the electron wanted to move out the central field of the force. Up a magnitude of the resultant on the two orbital angular momentum on the should be constant and path. Okay, well, but Anna in the Abdirkana, but it turns out that the magnitude is not constant. So the penna are not constant are canala, the relativistic wave equation on the epicarakana non linear arc. Up a e r dou by dou t. Okay. So, the non-relativistic equation being linear, epilinear arc na, uh, dou by dou t, this property does not hold in case of relativistic equation on account of there being non-linear in dou by dou t. Okay. So, a, a reformulation of relativistic wave theory was given by Dirac. So, a Dirac looked for a wave equation which should be invariant under a Lorentz transformation. So, this is very important point. Then, this is the properties of properties of alpha and beta matrices. So, before that, we want to know Dirac matrices. Dirac matrices means what? If alpha x is equal to the matrices, we will have 0. Then, 0. Okay. Then, we will have sigma x. Then, sigma x is 0. That way. Then next alpha y at the crop. Alpha y in at the time now. Other number 0, sigma y, sigma y, 0. Okay. Then next alpha z, alpha z at the time now. Other number 0, alpha z, alpha z, 0. Okay. Alpha z, 0. Then beta is element of the alpha x, y, z at the top. Then next beta at the top of the Beta on the path diagonal arco. Okay. Beta on the epidogona. Ipo 1, 0, 0, 0. Abdin Ponjana. Then 0, 1, 0, 0. Then 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1. The more diagonal value with the curcuna and the beta of curcum. Okay. Well, so in the pointing in Alan Abuchuanga. Then next epo. So they raise for Ella. Beta Alan Abuchuanga. Beta on the diagonal arcuna solir in Okay. Well. So, in here, since alpha squared x is equal to alpha squared y is equal to alpha squared z is equal to beta squared is equal to 1. In here, we have to say alpha x, y squared, z squared, this is equal to beta squared. So, this overall is equal to 1. So, therefore, eigenvalue of their matrices must be plus or minus 1. In the eigenvalue, the must be plus or minus 1. Plus or minus 1 or so So in the statement could have the TRB like a Okay, well. So since all these matrices anti-commute. So Pidelam Epirka. So Idu Rumba important Idu Ramka TRB Kekla. You would have matrices Elam Epirkana anti-commute. So therefore only one of the four matrices can be diagonal. Okay. So the covariant form of Dirac equation is Dirac equation and then Patamna comma mu is equal to do psi by dou xy plus m0 0 by h cross psi is equal to 0. Okay. So then next step. Properties of gamma matrices. So gamma matrices are Hamiltonian and the square is equal to unity. This matrix is our trace lesson. So we will draw. Okay. Well. So the core matrices are the alpha x, y, alpha y, alpha z and beta is Dirac's free particle equation. In the four matrices are answered. Ranga Dirac's free particle equation is must be in our Hamiltonian or Kuno. Adela Menavar Kuno Hamiltonian or Kuno. So, 
சோ அதே மாதிரி px py p is it வந்து இது commutes இது எல்லாமே அப்ப alpha and beta do not commute alpha and beta when they do not commute அப்ப alpha and beta commute with எது கூட commute ஆ இருக்க e and p நான் ஸ்டார்டிங் லே சொன்னலையா e and p okay so the free particle is solution பார்த்தோம்னா the dirac equation is given dirac equation என்னது h psi is equal to i h cross rho by rho t into psi so இது ரொம்ப important இது நல்லா பார்த்துக்கோங்க okay வா so the hamiltonian operator h is given as hamiltonian operator எப்படி கொடுப்பாங்க அப்படி பார்த்தோம்னா h is equal to c into alpha x px plus alpha y py plus alpha z p z plus beta m not c square n so hamiltonian operator okay வா so dirac equation ரொம்ப important அது நல்லா பார்த்துக்கோங்க Dirac equation in electromagnetic field. Dirac equation electromagnetic ले अब दी रखो आप जिन्सों ली पाकम बोलते हैं। तो नमक के इन द equation नमक के इन करेक्ट द three particle का ना equation Dirac equation. Okay बा। So then next Dirac equation electromagnetic field को पातम ना इन द equation. ये द ला आह इन विच द first three terms हैं। The first three terms रख लिया। In the first three terms are precisely the same as in the relativistic wave equation. Okay, wow. This is the same as the relativistic wave equation in electromagnetic field. Okay, wow. So, the first term is the same as the first term. The first term is the same as EH cross divided by 2MC. EH cross divided by 2MC into sigma prime. Okay, this is represent magnetic dipole moment of electron. இது எதை represent பண்ணது? Magnetic dipole momentum of electron. Okay, wow. Then next, இதிலியே, I, E, H cross, divided by 2MC. இது என்னது H cross? I, E, H cross, divided by 2MC into alpha bar. Okay. Is the imaginary electric moment. இது என்னது? Imaginary electric moment of an electron. அப்போ the last two terms இந்த last two terms எப்படி வேதிருக்காகன் பத்தம் நாம் அது order of H cross by C and hence negated in non-relativistic case okay வாம் hope you understand then next alpha and beta satisfy following relations alpha and beta the following relations satisfy பண்ணிருக்கும் இது வந்து ரம்ப important இது நக்கு MCQல கேப்பாங்க இது நமக்கு இந்த first day நம்ம first slide லே பார்த்தும் alpha squared x is equal to alpha squared y is equal to alpha squared z is equal to 1 இது குடை இன்னும் சேந்து ஒரு என்ன வரும் beta squared r so is equal to 1 okay வாம் so in the statement செலமே நல்ல பார்த்துக்கோங்க then next alpha x alpha y plus alpha y alpha x is equal to alpha y alpha z plus alpha z alpha y is equal to alpha z alpha z plus alpha x alpha z is equal to 0 okay So, this is satisfied by Panano, the relations all me. So, beta squared is equal to 1. Then next step, alpha x beta plus beta alpha x is equal to what? Alpha y beta plus beta alpha y. Okay, is equal to alpha z beta plus beta alpha z is equal to 0. So, the four quantities in the alpha x, alpha y, alpha z beta. These are the four quantities. Are said to anti-commute. This is the first thing we have to do. This is anti-commute in pairs. இது வந்துடு commuter, anti-commuter, இந்த மரி நமக்கு MCQல கேப்பாங்க, okay, வாம். And the squares are unity. The squares line are them, unity. Okay, hope you understand. If you have any doubt, means put into the comment box. Thank you, all the best.